Hey everyone, it's ML and you're watching Newsbreak. There were some incredible scenes in Sri Lanka over the weekend. More than 100,000 protesters stormed the presidential palace and some say they're not going to leave until the president resigns. Here's Joe to explain. Taking a dip in the pool, sweating it out in the gym, or just chilling in the bedrooms. No, this isn't a resort. It's the home of the Sri Lankan president. This all happened after a dramatic day in the country's capital, Colombo, where thousands upon thousands marched the streets and stormed the homes and offices of the Prime Minister, Ranil Vikramasinghe, and President Gotabaya Rajapaksa, demanding that they quit. You see, Sri Lanka's going through a devastating economic crisis right now. There's been shortages of basics like fuel, food and medicine, which many people have blamed on the government. When you see the luxuries in this house, it is obvious that they don't have time to work for the country. The president and prime minister were evacuated before the crowds rolled in and have both announced they will step down soon. I feel very, very sad that they didn't go earlier because had they gone earlier, there wouldn't have been any destruction. No one is quite sure what will happen next, but many say a change in government is a good start. For past uh, six months, people were struggling in the uh, queues, people are in the fuel queues, people are in the gas queues, but now um, people have hope. The Aboriginal flag is here to stay on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. It took the place of the New South Wales state flag as part of NAIDOC Week's celebrations, but now the New South Wales government say they're going to keep it up there permanently. It means a $25 million plan to build an entirely new flagpole up on the bridge has now been scrapped. It's time to check out all the Aussie highs and lows from the Wimbledon finals on the weekend. Here's Michelle. Woo! It wasn't quite the fairy tale finish for Nick Curios. After Kyrgios won the first set of the Wimbledon final with some pretty impressive play, Djokovic stormed home to take the trophy. Everyone was in good spirits after the game, with Djokovic celebrating his seventh Wimbledon title and both opponents celebrating each other. Yeah, he's a bit of a god, I'm not going to lie. Nick, you'll be back. <laughs> Over in the women's, Elena Rubakina has won her first Grand Slam title. The win is actually the first time someone from Kazakhstan has ever won a major title. Oh, there she is, a new name, a new champion. I was super nervous before the match, during the match, and I'm honestly happy that it finished, to be honest. And lastly, after five sets and a tiebreaker to finish, <laughs> these guys deserve a lie down. It's like kind of rolled over, looked at Matt, and he was on the ground, I was like... <laughs> Yes, <laughs> we have done it. Aussies Matthew Ebden and Max Purcell came from two sets to one down to win the men's doubles final. So good. And are the first Australian men's pairing in 22 years to take out the title. Well, we just won Wimbledon, how good's that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, have your Explorer gear and binoculars at the ready because it's time to spot some natural wonders. Ooh, what's that? Whale watching is always, well, pretty wonderful. But there's something extra special about these guys. It's the first time researchers have seen this many southern fin whales feasting together since whaling was banned about 30 years ago. They reckon there's about 150. Let's check. We've got one, two, and you know what? It does look like a lot. Exploring the deep unknown. Who knows what you'll find? For researchers in Laban, China, they found cave clouds. They're a natural forming mineral deposit in caves that get the name cave clouds because they end up looking like, well, clouds. Everyone meet Simba and his very, very long ears. 56 centimetres long to be exact. He's only about a month old, but his owner, Muhammad, reckons he might have the longest goat ears in the world. Well, they're definitely the longest goat ears I've seen. Gee, they get in the way a bit, don't they? Someone get Simba some ear pouches. Ah, oh, there we go. So cute. Huh, what's that? Looks like the end of the show. All right, see you later.